What's up guys? Specstar here today, probably sounding a little bit funny because I decided not to wait until I took out my whitening strip on my teeth. So, uh, probably talking a little bit funny, but who the hell cares? That's, that's my thoughts on the matter. And I, I'm here with my week 7 battle for MPL, and I'm going up here against Easy Cheesy, who boasts a record of 3-3-0. Three and three and zero. According to the doc, at least. I'm not sure if that's right, but that's what the doc says. And I have myself a record of 4-2, four and two, plus 4. And he's got himself a team consisting of Weavile, Slowbro, Serena, Miss Magius, Clefable, and Zygarde. And I am going to switch over here to my team. Starting things off here. Oh. Starting things off at the bottom, great start. Um, starting things off here, I got my Mega Metacham running Adamant. Just enough speed for an Adamant Zygarde, if I'm not mistaken. Come on, is that right? That's right, there we go. Remembering things, good start. Unfortunately, I will be forced to run High Jump Kick this week. Uh, the extra power was relevant in a few situations. But fortunately, I am able to carry the Drain Punch as well, so hopefully I won't have to click High Jump Kick that much. I've got Thunder Punch, which hits Pokemon, Slowbro, and Bullet Punch, which I just like better than Fake Out in this matchup. It's just uh, a lot of the point of my team is just to kind of wear him down, and then eventually, hopefully, Metacham can clean up. Bullet Punch helps once I get th some things sufficiently worn down. Anything that's faster than this stupid thing. Next up here, I've got my Celesteela, and I'm rocking a Shed Shell because my thought process was he's got a Lolan Golem, and like the one time that Pokemon's ever useful is against Celesteela, and I was ready for that thing to come and be Magnet Pull, but it instead does not come at all, so uh, I'm rocking it for nothing this week. I've got Leech Seed, Toxic, Protect and Heavy Slam, <laughs> just fitting with the theme and getting meaningful chip on his team and trying to get everything in range of Medicham. Uh, it was especially, uh, especially defensive. And, um, you know, not too much to say about this set. Wear shit down with Toxic and Leech Seed. Protect helps this thing stay around and get even more annoying. Next up here, I got a set that I do need to do some more <laughs> explaining for. I've got my Latios, which is rocking the Colber Berry and rocking HP, Speed, and Special Attack. And uh, I've got, again, I've got just enough speed for Zygarde on this thing. Uh, it was just a somewhat relevant benchmark to hit. Kind of covered a few other things with that little bit of speed. Uh, even in this matchup, I consider just running no speed on this thing. But I was a little concerned about Zygarde, so I thought I'd just throw that on there in case he wanted to run something like an adamant band variant which he very well could i've got the cobra berry to make sure this thing isn't trapped by weavile which always likes to annoy this pokemon and the hidden power fighting with enough special attack to make sure i can definitely bop the thing back ice beam hits majority of his team pretty much anything toxic won't wear down and isn't weavile <laughs> And uh, particularly Zygarde, of course. And next up here, I've got my Titar. I'm rocking Stealth Rock, Pursuit, Fire Blast, and Ice Beam. Especially defensive with uh, Leftovers. Uh, especially defensive variant, just pretty good in this matchup. Getting up rocks, very important. Pursuit, particularly important for Miss Magius, which is just... Uh, it annoys Metacham quite a bit. It makes me unable to click I Jump Kick. Or it makes it at least tricky to click a jump kick. Ice Beam covers Zygarde. Fire Blast. If. Scizor, right. Fire Blast covers the Scizor. Next up here, I've got my Pex. Physically defensive, Shookaberry. Shookaberry just gives me the potential to haze on any kind of Dragon Dance Zygarde if it did want to be that. And I've got, of course, the rest of. It's usual suspects for the moves, and it's set a little bit of a basic bitch set here, but it's nice in the matchup. Covers uh, a lot of his offense, and T-Spikes, particularly 
good for just getting the team worn down in range of Medi. He didn't have a great grounded poison that was going to stop it. And last up here, I've got a tank growth, which is physically defensive with a little bit of special attack. Just enough special attack to make sure that if Zygarde is 252 HP, Giga Drain will for sure break its sub. I've got a lot of I get a lot of tech on my team for Zygarde. It was to me the biggest threat when I was doing the prep here. The rest I wasn't getting that sweaty about. Hidden Power Ice will also hit that thing. And then Toxic, just fitting with my theme, his team was a little bit vulnerable to Toxic spam. Uh, particularly with a solid cleaner in the back. And Knockoff was more or less just like a fourth move, pretty much. I actually just kind of sat there thinking, what fourth move is actually going to be useful in this matchup? And it took me a while to really just say, uh, I guess Knockoff could have some situational use here. And that's the team there, so let's get this back to the battle scene. Alright, and here we go. So, uh, I'm going to lead off with Medi- Nope, <laughs> Celesteel. Okay, he leads off with Serena, and I'm just going to click Protect first to Scout. He could switch, but, uh, like, really, you know what? He is instead going to click the U-turn here, which is fine with me. Um... And here, I am thinking, since he is U-turn, he could very well be choiced, and that's something to take into account. And looking at his team, pretty much everything aside from this, I'm just going to want to get up my seeds again, so uh, I'm going to spread my seed. <laughs> I like that, I'm going to say that a lot now, I'm going to beat that to death until it's not funny anymore. No, I click Toxic, right, yeah, I'm going to spread my Toxic. He goes in a slow bro which is the heavy slam switching, which is why I click the Toxic. Zygarde is also the only other Pokemon that wants to take a heavy slam, and I would want to Toxic that thing too. So he goes in a Slowbro here. Um, I don't have uh, any kind of recovery on this since I'm not lefties, which is irrelevant. I'm going to protect here and just try to check for any kind of Fire Blast because I did not ever want to take that. He goes in a Clebable here, uh, making a pretty aggressive play. Um, not exactly sure what the play was. Let me look at my team and try and see if I can dissect exactly what he was doing there. He may have been predicting Laddie to come in and wanted just to make an aggressive play to get up his rocks. I guess he also could have just not wanted a slow bro to get seated because uh, he, he knew he wasn't going to win that war with Steela. Anyway, uh, Clefable's going to come in here, and I'm not giving second thoughts. I'm just going to click Heavy Slam. Clefable is, uh, aside from Zygarde, probably my second biggest priority to get rid of in this matchup. Well, maybe either that or Weavile, but uh, I'm not going to screw around too much. I'm just going to get my Heavy Slam damage off on this thing. He's going to get up Rocks here, and then he's going to switch out his Slowbro. And I am going to click Heavy Slam quite safely. Slow row, get down to 77%, which is pretty good. I'm just going to click Protect here. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much of the Toxic stall here for your guys' taste, but that was just my smartest way to play this game. Here I'm going to go to Toxic Packs, and um, he goes for his Inferno Overdrive, so that's a pretty interesting turn. He was really wanting to bot my Steela, but I was never willing to let Steela stay in on this Pokemon until I saw that it was for sure not a threat. That was... Uh, let me turn on my phone volume. <laughs> uh, I had to make sure it was for sure not a threat to sell a Steela before uh, I left it in on that, because Celesteela's matchup here is flawless. Lawless. He does not, I mean, his best switch into it is Slowbro, and Slowbro does not come in and beat it unless it has something like this Inferno Overdrive. I'm going to run Calx. It's probably Modest. Modest max special attack, which means a Psychic would take me out. But I should explain why. I went into Toxapex. If he just went for Scald, then I was able to get up T-Spikes here, which helped me pressure his team better. 
Also, I knew he was never going to click Psychic there. That was like the one thing he would never do, so I kind of had that safety. So now I'm sure he's going to click Psychic, and I have to make the play into my T-Tar. At least it's the best play I've got here. And I believe he's just going to go for his Slack Off. Nope, he goes into Club Fable. Completely, completely different. Uh, I'm going to get my lefties here. I believe I'm going to set up my rocks here. No. Oh my gosh. I'm on a roll tonight. What? You know what? I never learned my lesson. I'm never going to wait until I see the turn before trying to say what I'm doing. And I'm never going to only say that when I'm sure I know what I'm doing. I'm just always going to shoot from the hip. Um, here, I will get up my Toxic Spikes. Uh, I'm... I'm let me see. Um, he, he goes in cleft. I'm going to bring in my pecs here as he goes for soft boiled. Again, I'm still just trying to get up my T-spikes here. T-spikes are a priority for me. I have no hazard control, uh, and that's because I knew that the hazard war was going to be more favorable for me. It's important for me to just get him stacking. But here comes in Zygarde, and that's a threat. I'm going to go into my Tangrowth, which is my designated switching. He does go for a substitute. I know if he's 252 HP and no special defense investment, my Giga Drain for sure breaks his sub. So I am going to go for my Giga Drain here, not wanting to show him more than I have to. He goes for Toxic. Uh, unfortunately for him, he misses. I'm going to go for Giga Drain. <laughs> unfortunately for me, it doesn't break the sub, so he's specially defensive. He is going to go for Toxic again, and he will this time get it. I'm going to go for Giga Train again, not wanting to show him Hidden Power Ice until I need to click it. Speaking of needing to click it, I need to click it here. <laughs> he goes for another sub here, and uh, my Tangrowth's getting hurt, but I do have regen, and breaking these subs mean this thing's getting weakened, which is important. This thing is, of course, the biggest obstacle for me. At least that's the way I view it right now, so... Uh, getting the thing weakened is absolutely paramount. He's going to switch out into his Miss Magius here as I go for Hidden Power Ice again safely, not wanting to screw around too much with that thing. He's going to preserve it at a pretty good health, and I'm going to make a safe play here into my T-Tar and the Miss Magius. No matter what it can do, oh, let me back up a little bit. Uh, no matter what it can do, worst case scenario is will o -S, but t is still going to do it at least a ton to it with the pursuit, even if burned, and he can't hit it hard. Hidden power fighting would be its best move to hit it, but he's gonna go for trick, and instead of crippling the T-Tar, he's gonna make T-Tar more powerful than he ever could have imagined. He's going to inadvertently trigger Specs Tar. I am now Specs. I've got two special attacks, and he is now in the danger zone. He has made me more powerful than he ever could have imagined. Because I'm looking for his switching, and he doesn't have one. But I'm going to predict him to switch anyway and click Pursuit here. For many, what many of you don't know is that the original Specs T-Tar set did carry Pursuit, so. And so far, it's staying in line with that. And Specs Titar will claim the KO. He made the biggest mistake of his entire life tricking me that item. And he brings in his Serena. I bring in my Pex because it covers him making a move, such as just clicking Rapid Spin, because I am just going to be able to reset my be able to reset my T spikes. Um, is it? I think by now I've run the calcs on Serena, and what the calcs have told me is that Serena actually, um, I think it was that rapid spin, it might have been a later one, but eventually the calcs will tell me that Serena must be adamant muscle band. That's what the calcs are going to tell me. So uh, that was a pretty interesting note. And I remember thinking... Uh, by the Galaxy City, there had to be Silk Scar for Muscle Band, so obviously Muscle Band. And uh, he will go into Slowbro here as I reset my T-Spikes. Not screwing around with those, they're great against his team so long as I can keep them up. I'll regen my health back and go into my T-Tar, which again is more powerful than he ever could have anticipated. He's going to go for Scald, of course, being forced to predict the T-Tar coming in because 
he knows that this is the danger zone and anytime he lets it in he's in the danger zone so here he is fearing a million things at once if he switched out he could be and he goes into Zygarde he could be ice beamed if he goes in a Weavile he could be focus blast fire blasted if he goes in a Clef I could be I don't know I think hidden power I think hidden power steel is what does the most from the special side, but does a ton, does a ton, um, and he's thinking, oh shit, I cannot switch in on this power, but my play is just to click Pursuit anyway, because, um, his Scald did 34, and I'm at 35, you know what, the Sandstorm subsided, I thought, this is gonna kill me, and at the time I thought it was a roll, but I just didn't notice that the sand subsided. Yeah, making them professional plays. Boom, 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 boom. But uh, anyway, regardless of whether it takes me out or not, Pursuit will, at the very least, put him in a very tricky range, especially because don't let that T-Spike distract you. He is badly poisoned, and these things are starting to rack up. Um, unable to slack him off while being badly poisoned. He's going to have to go for a Scald here. And Specs Tetar does not do, does not get the full KO, but he's going to force this thing into a position where it's got to drop to steal his heavy slam. So it's basically like a KO for the Specs Tetar. Pretty damn much. Steelo is basically the mod that didn't let him switch out at all. He brings in Weavile, and I run Calx, and Weavile doesn't KO me at all. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why it came in here, um, but I'm in the, at this juncture. I'm thinking Sweet Isle is actually pretty damn annoying. So uh, as good as Celesteel is, I'm willing to trade almost all of its health to take out the Weavile. First, I'm actually going to click Protect, mostly because uh, I didn't know why exactly it came in. And there's always a possibility that it could be like a Natty Gift Berry. Weavile does learn Natural Gift. I'm 99% sure it learns Natural Gift. No, it doesn't, does it? No, I don't think it does. I have no clue. It either does or doesn't. It's like a Schrodinger's Pokemon move. Uh, until I find out if it knows Natty Gift, it, it can be considered both having Natty Gift and not having Natty Gift at the same time. Anyway, I click Protect. I'm still scratching my head a little bit here. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have protected in case he Sword Stance, but if he brought Weavile on Celesteel at a Sword Stance, I mean, um, I, I feel like those kind of plays I'm not really expecting to see with good competition. But um, anyway, he'll he'll go for knockoff. Should it be life orb? Steel is gonna survive with 35 and take the Weavile out. He's gonna go into his Serena here, and I will go for my protect here. Just kind of see what he goes for. Also wear it down a little bit with its poison, uh, thinking it may very well not have recovery. Although I don't know what a muscle band Serena does. <laughs> if he did want to go for spin again. I wanted to put him in a position where he's going to have to let something die. So Metacham is going to come in here. And Serena is at 58%. I'm going to Mega Evolve. And as he clicks Rapid Spin faster than my Metacham, I'm going to learn that it's not Muscle Band. With an earlier move, it got a maximum roll. And the Calc lied to me, so both those things were true. The Calc showed the maximum roll being 0.1% lower in damage than what it really was. So I was under the assumption that it had to be somehow boosted, but no, the calc just sucks. <laughs> and that's the lesson we learn. Uh, he'll go for that spin. Fortunately, it didn't matter in a significant way, the calc letting me down, but it did in there. And you guys always have to be dubious of the calc a little bit. And I, anyway, I drain punch the thing, Metacham's back to full. He goes to Clef here, and I'm going to go to Pexy here, because Pexy does beat that thing, and I want to reset my T-Spikes, very important. He goes to the Zygarde, 
Uh, I do want my T spikes back up, but I'm not screwing around with this thing that much. I go to my Latios. Latios takes hits from this thing, unless they're Outrage. And uh, if he does want to let me break his sub and lock in at Outrage, I'm all right, all right, all right with that. That would let Metacham safely revenge kill that thing, and then it would all be down to Clef, which would lose two packs for Steela. Anyway, um, he subs up here, and I am just going to go for my Ice Beam to break the sub. Obviously, the Hidden Power Fighting would not. He goes for Thousand Arrows, not even a 2 at KO because my Latios is a beast. Uh, I either went for Recover or Ice Beam, one of the two. I think Recover. Yeah, I went for Recover. Get my health back, make this thing a switch in on Zygarde once more. He goes in a Clef, I'm going to go into Pex again. Still, I really want to set those T spikes, that's an absolute priority for me. Once I get them up, this thing becomes a lot simpler. He brings in Zygarde, and now that T-Spikes are up, I know that this is the last time this Pokemon's ever going to be a threat to sweep me. If I'm able to take this thing out and force it out or KO it before it sweeps me here, then with the T-Spikes, it's never going to be a threat to do that again. And I will just go once again into my Latios here, which I know is at least going to be able to break the thing's sub and take one hit. He does sub up, and I'm gonna go surprise, surprise for Ice Beam. He goes for Toxic, and that's a little bit annoying to Latios, but I'm very relieved to see that thing sub broken with it not boosted. He switches out, which means the Zygarde's still alive, but next time it comes in, it is poisoned, and that's fantastic. Let me turn this up to normal. <laughs> I'm gonna switch into Toxapex here. Uh, Toxapex comes in on steel our thought specs comes in on clef and i click scald i end up winning an epp war here with clef he goes for moonblast here and eventually i'm going to switch out to celesteela and um no that's not the smart play that was the i don't want to play pp stall and i'm impatient play <laughs> that's exactly what it was i was trying to save myself some time there and i bring in my steela he goes from Moonblast. Unfortunately, I'm just barely in range of rocks, so when I click Heavy Slam here on the Zygarde, that thing is going to be able to force me out. Well, not force me out, it's going to be able to force me not to go out because the rocks are up and it would come in again and die. So uh, I'm just going to go for Protect, and my uh, play, unfortunately, is just to continue clicking Protect which I'm unsuccessful in doing, so the Zygarde will be able to pick off the Steela. Uh, I probably could have preserved some differential there, but I don't really care, <laughs> to be honest. I bring my Tangrowth, I click Giga Drain, Clef's in, and um, now the unfortunate... Oh, not quite yet. I'm going to knock it off first and just take off those lefties. Just make things, hopefully, a little bit faster. And then I will click my Giga Drain. He's going to crit me. Not really significant. Um, I'm going to go back into Pex. And then uh, this is what I was hoping to avoid. But uh, unfortunately, I was forced in this position where I had to go into Pex on Clef. And get into a PP stall war that eventually Toxapex wins every single time. So skip turn, skip turn, skip turns. Skip turns, skip turns. Eventually, he's going to forfeit. And um, the rules say no forfeit, but uh, ne <laughs> neither of us had time for this bullshit. <laughs> neither of us wanted to sit through 50 more turns of this, so fuck the police, am I right? We don't, we don't listen to the, the establishment rules. We play by our own rules, but... <laughs> Fortunately here, I'm going to move the win streak to 5 and move on to 5-2. and two. And plus 8 in the differential. <laughs> this game was a little bit drawn out, but uh, we had a few strong performances by our boy <laughs> Sexy Pexy here. Celesteela had a pretty good impact itself. And um, what the hell else did anything? I guess Tangrowth did well at keeping a Zygarde at bay, but Laddie helped with that. And uh, yeah, that's going to be that game. <laughs>
I hope you guys enjoyed it more than I did. I wish I had the benefit to just skip through all those turns when I was playing it live like you guys got to do watching, but uh, not so much. Not the world we live in. <laughs> anyway, um, next week we are going to take on Fog. If he ever responds to my DMs, and that will be it for this. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a good night.